Greetings, family. Welcome once again. Welcome to uh, the Sunday messages, Sunday spiritual messages. Remember, we've been saying that uh, most of these Sundays we are going to be giving you uh, information of what God is revealing to us as we are praying. You know, as intercessors, we are praying, and the Lord has to be giving us guidance through His Spirit. And many, many things are being said. And we are looking at uh, how uh, Mnangagwa is blundering and what is uh, contributing to his total collapse, right? So we are looking at Mnangagwa's spiritual blunders that are leading to his total collapse. Mnangagwa actually has done quite a lot of things. Uh, these are uh, things that are negative and things that are, you know, uh, so, 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 so touching to the heart of God. And some of these things are the things that are going to be causing him to go through a downfall. And that downfall is uh, imminent and it is due and the season of that downfall is now. So as we continue to pray as intercessors, we continue to say this time and uh, over again that uh, we need to continue to remember to put the nation in prayer because prayer would help the plans of God that are already laid in the realm of the spirit to give us, in, uh, I mean, to be um, uh, engaged by the angels remember in the realm of the spirit it is the angels that activate the will of god so as we pray we cause angels to be hyperactive if i can use that word in the realm of the spirit to activate the will of god the plans of god and even the word of god including the declarations of the saints so it is very very important so mnangagwa has made many blunders and some of these blunders are the ones that are leading to his downfall and uh, uh, there is no way we can uh, solve these ones because you know you know the Lord has got His own principles and out of the principles of the Lord, when you break the principles of the Lord, you you become the enemy of God. Once you are the enemy of God, God removes His hand from you. Uh, God removes His grace from you. God removes His hedge of protection from you, and anything can happen to you. Vultures can come after you, and you can never find yourself safe anyhow. So whatever that you can try to do physically, you can try, but you will not succeed because what the odds that are against you are more than what you can physically ever do. Remember, the spiritual is more powerful than the physical, and there is no one who can use any physical means to try and block uh, the power of the spirit, especially when the spirit is working against you. So that's the thing that we are seeing Mnangagwa trying to do, where he's trying to bring in uh, the soldiers, the, the guns, threatening the ministers coming in to say the full arm of the law shall catch up with you. Our security forces, when I'm Chango coming out saying the, our, our security forces from the war, uh, what, what, all those threats are not going to work because if they knew that the arm of the power of God in the realm of the spirit is greater than the whole world combined, God can shift this world through his finger, uh, by his finger, he can shift the world from its position and throw it somewhere else. So uh, what if he can do that to the whole world, imagine, and everything that is in it, what about uh, uh, people like ZANU-PF and Mchangba and Mnangagwa and the like? What can they do if indeed the time of the Lord, the season of the Lord for what he is allowed to happen comes, especially after the Lord is angry with uh, the way that uh, somebody is carrying himself? So we are looking at Mnangagwa's spiritual blunders, and he has done quite a number of these, and these ones are irreversible. Mnangagwa, unless he can repent to the Lord, of which uh, we are very doubtful that, that, that he can ever do that. We don't see Mnangagwa ever repenting because he's not the repenting type, and unfortunately that is going to work against him so, so seriously. So uh, Mnangagwa's spiritual blunders, we want to be looking at them, and one of them, there are many actually, one of them is the neglecting of the poor, the widows, and orphans. This one is a serious issue in the eyes of the Lord. Remember, the Lord God says, I am the God of the widow, and the God of the, of the poor, and the God of the orphan. And when you go against these people, when you cause the suffering of these people, the cries and the tears of these people are never good for any individual. Never ever have this group of people crying out to God uh, because of your doing. You will never survive. There is no way you will survive. The wrath of God 
will just uh, catch up with you. And that is what it is. Because when, when God has said in his word that I am the God of the widow, of the poor and of the orphans, that is already a judgment that has been given. It's a spiritual judgment that has been given by the king. So what it means is anyone who will go against these people is already going against the judgment of the king. So in the kingdom, in any kingdom, if you go against the judgment of the king, what happens to you? You meet the fate. You meet the fate. Just like how Nangagwa is behaving in the country, because he makes himself a king, or he makes himself anyone who goes against Nangagwa, he can decide what he wants with you. We have seen Wana Job Scala, Wana Hopuch Nono, Wana Jacob Garifume, who has said to have gone against him. What did he do to them? So the same thing that he's doing to people uh, because he calls himself some king uh, or some small god in Zimbabwe. That's the same thing that happens with God in his kingdom. He will punish anyone who goes against his precepts, against his word, against his declaration. So this is one of the major, major areas that Mnangagwa is going to be suffering from. The next uh, problem that Mnangagwa has done is heaping up riches for oneself. This is a big, big problem. You remember the rich young, uh, the rich, uh, rich young man and uh, also the rich fool in the Bible where God spoke about uh, 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 to the rich fool and he said to him, your soul is going to be demanded of you this very day. So who is going to be taking all this uh, that you have heaped up for yourself? And he said, you fool to that man. When the man thought he was wise, he was a hard worker, he was rich, he had everything that he needed. And yet God calls him fool. And he says, you fool. Exactly. That's what happened to Nebuchadnezzar when Nebuchadnezzar was looking at the city of Babylon and was beating his chest saying, I am the one who has built all this. So look at me. I'm a great man. Great of all great. The goat. These days, the young people talk about the goat. <laughs> so Nebuchadnezzar thought he was a goat, which is what Mnangagwa is doing. And what, what, what punishment befell Nebuchadnezzar? It was serious. Very, very serious for going against the will of God. So the greed, selfishness, and dishonest of Emerson Nangagwa, heaping up riches for oneself is a great, great sin in the eyes of God. And when the wrath of God comes upon an individual, then people should never say, uh, God has forsaken me. God has not seen me. God is not hearing my prayers, things like that. Because you are going against the principles of the spirit. When you break spiritual principles, you meet the wrath of God. The wrath of God will automatically fall on you. And that is exactly uh, some of the things that are leading to the total collapse of Emerson Mnangagwa. The third thing, and not the last, of course, I said there are many, I could speak of many others, uh, is the defilement of God's house, right? He has defiled the house of God. You know, Zimbabwe as a whole is one big house of God because it's a Christian country, you see. Uh, besides the particular churches that Mnangagwa is also corrupted, we are also talking about Zimbabwe as one big church because it's, an, it's a Christian church, it's a Christian country. So it's considered as a temple of God on its own. So the development of the house of God or the temple of God is the one of the greatest reasons why God is coming against Mnangagwa and why Mnangagwa will not survive, why he will meet a total uh, a, a catastrophic downfall. Right. So occultism is one big problem that has been in Zanupia for a very long time. Nangagwa is an occultist. Zanu PF people are occultists. They are shedding blood. They are going on evil altars. They are consulting dark spirits. They are doing all the like that you can talk about. They are sleeping in caskets, some of them, some in graveyards and things like that. They do spells and incantations and many other things that they are doing. All these are working against them. They are raising the wrath of God against them. Satanism and self-glorification. That glorification that Nangagwa gives to himself is what God hates so much. God wants the glory to be given to him. But the moment you begin to take the glory away from the Lord and you make it yeah, yours, you are uh, 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 actually attracting the wrath of God. You are attracting a mighty, mighty force of God that is going to come like a hammer upon you. That's exactly what Mnangagwa is going to be facing. So, so these are just a few uh, of the blunders of Mnangagwa that I, I decided to share with us as, I, as they were revealed to me during the times that I'm always praying for Zimbabwe. So we need to continue to be praying for the nation. We need to continue to uh, declare the word of God over Zimbabwe. And God's plans for Zimbabwe are definitely going to pass. Never, ever, ever listen to those people and whatever that things that are saying. The, 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 the blunders that they've made in the spirit are worse than the talk that the cheap talk that they are giving out there. The blunders are serious blunders and they are serious misgivings, serious, uh, uh, you know, uh, shortcomings 
in the eyes of the Lord. And some of them are very unforgivable until somebody decides to repent. But do, will we ever see Mnangagwa repenting? Never. We don't think Mnangagwa will ever repent. If Mnangagwa could repent, he would have repented by now. So this is uh, some of the things that we are uh, experiencing and the Spirit of the Lord revealing to us as we are praying his intercessors. And I'm sure most of you intercessors, you are also uh, could be also getting the same messages. If you are also uh, getting some same, same messages or some other things that uh, the Lord is revealing, also share with me. I can also make another show where we talk about them. And uh, this is very, very important. I wish these talks, we were doing them live so that we can be engaging and hearing what you think. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me on this show. Subscribe to this channel, like and share as always. We are going to be meeting uh, once again in the next coming show. Remain blessed.